The people in this workshop in Mogadishu are perhaps the last of their kind. Mohamed Noor and his partners weave Somalia's traditional fabric, known as Alindi, but business for them is hanging by a thread. We decided to take up this work because we were unemployed. I don't know any other professions like masonry or carpentry. I only know how to weave, but there is less work now because cheaper clothes have flooded the market. Most of the used and cheaper garments and textiles come from Europe, China and the US. USAID says the second-hand clothes industry employs more than 350,000 people in East Africa. The industry is a boon for some and a bane for others. I've been working on this craft for 40 years. I only earn $2 a day. I don't know what to do with that money because it's not enough. I have bills and a family. And if my kids get sick, I can't buy medicine for them. Many makers of Elindi have abandoned weaving for better paying jobs. But those who remain and the owners of traditional fabric shops still believe in their product. These clothes are much better than imported clothes because their quality is better since they were woven by hand. The market isn't good these days, but I will keep marketing traditional clothes and also telling people they're not expensive. Somalia faces some of the most severe humanitarian and developmental challenges in the world. That and decades of war have shattered its economy. These weavers are making a cloth that was prized for hundreds of years in Somalia. They're hopeful it will help them survive for a few more. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TR2 World.